Let's take a look at some of the new features in this release. We updated the user interface background color to improve the clarity and crispness of the dark theme. We improved the way you insert blocks using the content palette. The content palette has also been renamed to the blocks palette. Icons have been added where you can switch between inserting blocks from the current drawing, recently inserted or created blocks, favorites, or a selected block library. The recent view displays the most recently inserted or created block, regardless of the current drawing. These persist between drawings and sessions. Select how much information you want to see on the palette by choosing from the various list types or different icon display sizes. And it's easy to search for the exact block you're looking for. Search results can include blocks from the current drawing, recently used, favorites, and the active block library. Before inserting a block from any view, set insertion options like insertion point, scale, rotation, repeat placement, and more. When repeat placement is checked, press escape to exit the command. Place blocks from the palette by dragging and dropping, or by double clicking on the block and placing it into the drawing for more precision. You can also browse to a drawing file for insertion. The DWG Compare feature, introduced last release, has been improved based on your feedback, so that you can compare and make changes in real time. Now when you select the drawing you want to compare to the current drawing, the differences are displayed right in the current drawing. Select the objects from the compared drawing and import them into the current drawing in real time. Any objects you import will automatically turn gray, indicating objects now exist in both drawings. You can also export both drawings to a new snapshot drawing that combines the differences between both drawings. The snapshot drawing is the same as a drawing compare in the previous release. and when you select Exit Compare, the differences are no longer displayed. Measuring distances in your drawing has become much faster with the new quick option of the Measure Geom command. You can add the Measure Geom command with the quick option to the toolbar. When this option is active, the command displays dimensions, distances, and angles within a 2D drawing dynamically as you move your mouse over and between objects. The distance between two objects is measured only if the objects are parallel. The small orange square in the corner indicates the lines are at a 90 degree angle. Rollover tooltips have been added. These tooltips display current values of certain properties when the cursor hovers over an object in the drawing area. During a drawing compare, the rollover tooltip includes additional information related to the comparison. You can control the display of rollover tooltips in the application preferences. Support for Korean has been added. You can change the language in the application preferences dialog. Restart AutoCAD LT for Mac to see the language change.